So in this lecture, we are going to learn about rational inequalities and our learning objective is by the end of the lesson, you should be able to solve rational inequalities involving linear expressions. So we will look at different examples and different questions about rational inequalities. So these are the different expressions of rational inequalities that we will look through in all our example and questions. And in this form, Px and Qx or the function of P and the function of Q must be in linear or quadratic expression. And these are the examples that we have. For the first one, we have 3x plus 1 over x minus 5 is greater than or equal to 2. And the next inequality, we have 2 over 2x plus 3 is greater than 3x over x minus 1. So these two are the examples of the rational inequalities. Okay, so moving on to our example. So we try to solve these rational inequalities. Alright, so this question that we have is x plus 1 over x minus 1 greater than 0. Okay, so remember, um, this one, we already have like two different, two types, two different answers here. Okay, we already can check the critical value because it is already in, in form of two factors. Okay, so let us take these values. So let x plus 1 is equals to 0 and x minus 1 equals to 0. Take the two values equal to 0 and now we know that the critical value is x is equals to negative 1 and this one x is equals to 1. So these are the two values that we will put in our table of sign. right? So remember we need to have our interval our test value sine of x plus 1 and then sine of x minus 1 and then sine of the combination x plus 1 over x minus 1 okay so make your table of sign here So we have a table of sign here. So remember, we need to put the values that we have on our table of sign. So here, let's put negative 1 and 1. And remember, we put an open circle here because there are no equal sign in our inequalities. There's no greater than or equal sign. It's just a greater than 0. So this is negative infinity. This is infinity so our interval will be negative infinity negative 1 negative 1 1 and then 1 infinity okay so um test value let's take a value that is less than negative 1 so let's take negative 2 value between negative 1 and 1 let's take a 0 and this one let's take 2 Okay, so substitute negative 2 plus 1, that is negative. Negative 2 minus 1, also negative. 0 plus 1 is a positive. 0 minus 1 is a negative number. Then 2 plus 1 is positive. 2 minus 1 is also a positive number. If we go downwards, negative and negative is a positive. Positive, negative is a negative. Positive, positive is a positive value. Then, last step, check for our solution. So, check for the sign of our inequality. So, here we have a greater than 0. Okay, so greater than 0 must check for negative or positive. It's definitely must check for a positive value. So, two intervals that we have with a positive value. So, that will be our solution. So, interval of um, negative infinity negative 1 union with 1 infinity 
Okay, so that is our answer. Okay, so that is how we already solve example 1. That is the solution in interval form. Okay, so now let's proceed to example 2. So example 2, you need to solve 3x plus 5 over x plus 1 less than 2. Okay, so first step is um, we must take 2 to the other side of equations so that we have, uh, sorry, to the other side of inequalities so that we will have that equals to 0. Okay, so um, now we will have 3x plus 5 over x plus 1 minus 2 less than 0. Okay, so then we will try to simplify this so that we will get that as a single fraction. So we are going to have 3x plus 5 over x plus 1 minus with 2x plus 1 over x plus 1 less than 0. Okay. When we expand this, we will get 3x plus 5 minus 2x minus 2. Same line, same fraction line, less than 0. Okay, and after we simplify this, we will get our value of um, x plus 3. So we will get x plus 3 over x plus 1 is less than 0 okay so from here we will get to decide okay um then we start to do our table of sign because we already have two values meaning that we are already having the simpler type of rational inequalities just like the first example so we will let x um let x plus one equals to zero and x plus three equals to zero so x is equals to negative one x is equals to negative three so these are the two values that we have um then to actually we will start to do our table of sign so we have our interval Okay, and then we have the sign for, uh, we have our test value, sign for x plus 3, we have the sign for x plus 1, and the sign for x plus 3 over x plus 1, okay. I'll just squeeze this in here so that we don't have to move to the next page. Um, so we have negative 1. And then we have negative 3, right? Negative 3 and negative 1. Oh my goodness. Three in this part. Okay. Um, negative three, negative one. So it's an open so interval, negative infinity and infinity. So we are gonna have interval negative infinity, negative three, negative three, negative one, negative one and infinity. Okay. So having that take our test value let's say we take a uh, negative 4 here let's say we take negative 2 and 0 okay so what we are gonna have is negative 4 plus 3 is a negative negative 4 plus 1 is still a negative this one negative 2 plus 3 is a positive number negative 2 plus 1 is negative 0 plus 3 is positive 0 plus 1 is positive so negative negative it's a positive positive negative is a negative this one it's a positive now we need to check for our solution 
So our solution is, we have to check on this one. Okay, always remember to check when you already equate that to zero. So checking out our solution. So this is less than zero. So it must be negative. Must check for a negative sign. So the negative one is this one. The interval between negative three and one. So our final answer. The solution set is um, x where x is in between negative 3 and 1 and if it's in interval so we are going to have negative 3 and negative 1 just like that and that is our final answer for this example now before we end our lecture for today so please try to do this question and fill in the answer as a proof of your attendance for today.